Here we have the 2021 Subaru Legacy. And this one comes in the premium trim level. And that paint color is the beautiful crystal white. And the interior is beige cloth. The powertrain on this Legacy consists of a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder boxer engine made it to a continuously variable transmission. And there's the front end there. You have your LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights, as well as your LED fog lights. And then down here you have your 17 inch aluminum wheels. You have passive keyless entry on the front two doors. And there are the controls for your power door locks, windows, mirrors. And there's your power driver seat with power lumbar support. Gonna hop in this back seat. And for this to be a sedan, really, really good space back here. I'm six foot three, and I'm able to actually sit pretty comfortably. My knees are touching the back of the seat a little bit, but the back of the seat is actually really nice. So I don't have to worry about my knees getting hurt or anything like that. And plenty of seat or plenty of room underneath the seat for my feet. And I'm six foot three, so plenty of room. That's awesome. You have two USB ports back here. And there is your middle seat with your cup holders. Well, let's check out the trunk space next. A really good space back here, surprisingly, like really good. I'm gonna pull this here, cause this is how you fold down the rear seat and we'll check out that in a minute. But there's a nice view of the back. So these actually will fold flat. And then you can go ahead and just pull it up. It'll lock back into place. And there's your passenger seat there. And then we're gonna take a look at the engine under the hood. And there it is with no cover. And I actually like that view there. Let's hop in the driver's seat. So really nice leather wrapped steering wheel here. And over to the radio, I really like these because it looks a lot like your Tesla Model S screens, nice and long, and then you can even control your AC and your heated seats down here and all that. But volume knobs here, you can control the actual temperatures here for the dual zone automatic climate controls. And there's your navigation screen, and I love, just love how big it is on here. And there's your backup camera. And you get AM, FM, XM radio. And you also have your Bluetooth audio as well. And then you get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto too. 
Then you can go ahead and toggle your auto stop there. Go to your vehicle settings. And then you can even change the view up here where normally you'd have that little screen that Subaru likes to put in the Foresters and things of that nature up here. And it'll show you kind of what's going on, but you can just scroll through here and put whatever you want. So you have your oil temp, water temperature, average speed. And then you have your electronic parking brake here, which you can pull up to engage, push down to disengage, and then your shifter, reverse neutral drive, and then you can slap over for your eight speed manual mode and use these paddle shifters here behind the steering wheel. And then you have two USB ports along with an aux input there. Two cup holders. Two separate storage compartments in your center console tray. And then you have a nice one touch power sunroof. And there's a view of the back seat from up here. Now, I like how they put this little slot in here to hold the passenger's phone or whatever. And then you have a nice glove compartment here. Just carpeted. I like that. And over to the left side of the steering wheel, you have your volume controls, radio station trackless controls. And then you also have your source controls. So you can toggle between AM, FM, and XM along with Bluetooth. And then you have your Bluetooth controls here. You can toggle through your gauge cluster here. And then on the right side of the steering wheel, you have your Subaru EyeSight control. So adaptive cruise, gap adjust, make it bigger, shorter, lane keep. And then of course you can set and resume there. There's a quick close up of the gauge cluster. And there's your push button start. And finally, there's your key fob. So next we're gonna go ahead and take this Subaru Legacy out on the road for a quick test drive. So not bad power to start off with. Of course, this is a naturally aspirated four cylinder. So for it to be that, it has plenty of power. I mean, most people aren't gonna be racing with these, but if you wanted to put some mods or whatever on, I'm sure you could. <laughs> but it's decent for driving around town. And I really like the brake pedal. Nice and sturdy, but not too harsh. And the auto stop just cut on. So we're gonna use the paddles now. So it's interesting, it's not necessarily sporty as much as it is it keeps the engine revving higher for quicker acceleration. So they're useful if you want the car to pull differently than it would normally do just with the computer settings.
And the good thing is it's very responsive in terms of how it revs the engine. So, they're decent for what they're meant to be used for. But now we're going to hop on the interstate. And then we're going to try out the Subaru EyeSight functionality. I'm going to put on the adaptive cruise, the lane keep. So pretty responsive in terms of keeping that safe distance between myself and the vehicle in front of me and then just making sure the vehicle stays in the lines. Really good brake feeling, really good brake power. And there's the auto stop once again. Well, this is gonna bring me to an end of my review of the 2021 Subaru Legacy.